Aronoff Center. I can finally say it. Uh, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, and how did it come about? Uh, there was a void in downtown Cincinnati. We had knocked down uh, a lot of theaters and uh, Cincinnati uh, gave up a good part of, of what downtown was supposed to be. The Aronoff Center it was built in large part to serve as a catalyst for the revitalization of the downtown Cincinnati area. And as such, it was really important to choose a great location that would serve Cincinnati well. One of the first things that was done was to select a world-class signature architect, Cesar Pelli. Caesar came in and brought a design that brought life to the downtown of Cincinnati. And ever since, that building that he designed remains a keystone of the downtown community. The opportunity to design this major performing arts center could transform the city. And we felt it from the beginning. And we wanted this to be not something foreign that was injected in Cincinnati, but something that grew naturally out of the traditions of Cincinnati, a flower that grew out of the Cincinnati soil, to transform the city, to make the city even better than it already was. I think we created a marvelous place, a place, a solid place on the outside that strengthens that place of the city and a place of magic in the inside. And in, in any of the three theaters, I think what you experience there is truly magic, magic of modern times. And the fact that this theater is buzzing and, and occupied all the time and that there's such a breadth of the kind of people who attend and the kind of performances that they do, I just feel like it, it brings us together as a community that I, I don't know an, another thing that really can do that in that way so effectively. That goes to the operation of the Aeronaut Center, the programs that they offer for children, for adults, for everyone. It was one thing to put it together. It was one thing to raise the money to make it work. But operating it is probably the most difficult aspect of the Aeronaut Center. And the people who made it work, and Steve made it work by building a good board, by building people who work with him to make it possible. That's the real test, and we pass that test. Been a very important part of my life in terms of being involved here, and uh, uh, very proud of what we've done here, and, and getting this place built and operating it successfully. When people are interested in relocating to this community, they're concerned about two things. Initially, they're concerned about the schools for their children. And secondarily, but just as importantly, they're always asking, how are the arts in this community? Well, we thrive here. We have more arts organizations in this city than uh, comparable cities around the country, and the Aronoff Center is one of those cornerstones. One of the things I'm most proud of are the employees. We have 70 full-time employees, several hundred part-time employees, we have hundreds of volunteers, and we have a dedicated, committed board of trustees. All of these folks come together to make this a wonderful, successful operation for our community. I was 72 when I signed up. You do the math. <laughs> I've been here for 20 years as technical director. Uh, I have a lot of good people that work for me. We're all members of uh, the Cincinnati uh, Stage Employees, the IETSE, local number five. So um, there's a lot of continuity, which really makes this place work. I enjoy the theater. I enjoy uh, having the patrons when they come in. They are thanking you for being here, which we should really be thanking them for being here, but they make it, you know, they make it really a pleasant experience. What I look for in bringing on a member of our team at the Aronoff Center, first impression. First impression has to be a person that is customer service oriented. That's our business. So we have to have the right staff in place to do that. We are a great, fun organization, and you see that in the personalities when you come to the Aronoff Center. You become very proud of this place. People want to be here, and they want to usher here. They want their shows to be shown here because the facility is such a premier facility and state of the art, and, and I, I love being a part of, of that excitement and uh, uh, being just a part of this wonderful facility. 
The Aronoff Center is great because it's a multi-space venue. I think what makes the Aronoff very special though is the community that surrounds it. This is one of the top touring Broadway markets in the country and that's because this city supports Broadway and could support a performing arts center. I think it was very important for PNG to sponsor the Aronoff Center um, from the very beginning because it was a critical point in the time of Cincinnati and it was a, a tipping point for the revitalization of Cincinnati. If you look at the evolution over the last two decades um, in the city of Cincinnati, Aronoff was at the epicenter of that. You, know, you think about what was going on to our downtown area and then you fast forward to where we are today and you look at, at what's right in the center of that, right? right? What's right at the center of the downtown district, it's the Aronoff and, and what sprung up subsequent to that was the great restaurants that we have right around the corner. The Aronoff and Jeffrey B. Steakhouse are like left and right hand. And so we call it the show before the show. So people come in here and they kind of get their appetite fed. They get, you know, start mouth watering before they go over to the real show. Um, I, I always say I think that we have the best location. This is just a central hub for so much energy going on and it's the heartbeat of the city. Well, it's an anchor so that it really solidifies downtown as a center of arts and culture, which then by agglomeration just attracts other uh, art and cultural facilities. The other piece that we've participated in certainly is that because we have the multiple theaters, not just the large Procter & Gamble Hall, but the Fifth Third and the Jarson Kaplan, uh, it can accommodate smaller uh, uh, programs and venues, uh, so it becomes a catalyst for having more of that. It's really a joyful day for the staff of the Aronoff Center when we bring 2,000 children into the theater to see live art. And I will tell you that it is equally joyful when we send our artists out into the tri-state area um, to bring live art to them. We know that we are inspiring them and we are sparking dreams in those children's lives. The arts is important to everyone, especially to children, because arts changes lives. People express themselves with art, and it could be visual art, it could be performing arts. They express themselves with arts, and if we provide those opportunities, especially to children, who knows what they'll do in the next 20 or 30 years. Our ticket sales are so much stronger than they used to be, and the interest in doing our shows is a lot stronger. Um, there's a real appeal f amongst local community actors and actresses to perform on the Jarson Kaplan stage in the Aronoff Center. Well, it provides, you know, a space and like an outlet for, you know, whatever your work might be. And I think, I know when I was growing up, I saw a lot of shows here and that's what got me into doing all of this and that's how I got into the Overture Awards. So. If I hadn't had that, I probably wouldn't be here. So I think that's a, the same thing for a lot of other artists and that's really cool. I've only been in Cincinnati a couple of years, but I have already had the chance to bring my extended family here to celebrate the holidays and make uh, the Nutcracker of Cincinnati Ballet one of our family traditions. I'm, I'm grateful for that because the arts and places where the arts happen are the places that we make family memories. We offer audiences a unique opportunity to, um, to view some of the most outstanding artists working not only here locally in Cincinnati but in the region. And I think as far as performing arts centers throughout the country, we are fairly unique in that regard in terms of uh, the Aronoff, including um, a visual arts gallery in addition to the three theaters that are here. Well, I can't imagine um, not having the urine off, so I think that's pretty vital in terms of uh, getting people down here. And depending on their interest, you know, whether it's the visual arts or music or dance, um, that varies. But I think what happens is there's crossover there. You know, they come down, for example, to see a show in the theater, and uh, they come down here before or during or after, and uh, it enlarges their world. This is our brand, arts, culture, uh, entertainment. This is this is the lifeblood. This is the city of Cincinnati's DNA. This is the region's DNA. And again, it all emanates from here. So when we bring customers in that may or may not have a, a feel for what Cincinnati is or what we represent, we start here. This is this is how they get a feel for what the city represents. Uh, I think we wouldn't have picked up a lot of the conventions that we have picked up. A lot of the big events, World Choir Games, certainly without this facility. 
it came about as a beacon of opportunity in a street that was dark and uh, not so great to be on. And there came this beautiful building, shiny and, and a flagship to opportunity and a, a place for dreamers to, to dream big and make, acti make activity happen and make new things come about. And it brought a lot of things to realization that we could do in the community. And I think when you have something that's a landmark like that, it, it motivates the whole community to be dream big and do big. The area around the Aronoff has taken off, I think in large part because of the Aronoff. Uh, but then when you add to all the vibrancy of the Riverfront Park, Smell Riverfront Park, and the renovation and, it, and activation of Fountain Square and Washington Park, we are a much better city than we were 20 years ago in terms of life and excitement. And I do think the Aronoff was the key first mover in that renaissance that has survived 20 years now. I'm very proud of, uh, of what it became and the fact that it bears my name. So the Aronoff Center has been here 20 years and I think the next 20 years we're going to see continued growth and success and we're going to continue reaching out to the public to provide what it is that they expect. Just a great night out and so much fun. It's always fantastic. It's always a good time. Happy anniversary, Aronoff Center. We couldn't have done it without you. Happy anniversary, Aronoff Center. We wouldn't be Cincinnati without you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Happy, Happy 20th, 20th anniversary, anniversary Aronoff, Aronoff Center. Center. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Aronoff Center. You well deserve it. Place is beautiful. It's not a bad seat in the house. Everything. I love everything about it. I think it's a, it's a very uh, beautiful facility. The plays that are brought here are wonderful. Versatile uh, entertainment in the city. Keeps people coming downtown. Happy, Happy anniversary, Aronoff Center. Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary. Happy anniversary, Aaron Offset. Happy, Happy anniversary, Aaron Happy anniversary, Aaron Happy anniversary, Aaron We love you. Happy anniversary, Aaron Center.